From a small corner window display on London's Baker Street, Edmund Lebrun and Flor de Tyne are trying to help the victims of war. Their pop-up shop, Ishkar, which is also, sells crafts from conflict zones. Among the items on display are gorgeous hand-blown glasses in green, lapis lazuli blue and turquoise, intricate killam rugs, fine-woven camel hair shawls, earrings and necklaces and knives. Afghanistan has been at war for the past 40 years, so there are zero tourists, and no local market. The couple, both 27, came up with the idea for the business in Kabul, where they were living when they met. Edmund was working for Turquoise Mountain Foundation, the NGO founded by Rory Stewart, now a conservative MP, which aims to preserve and restore old buildings and businesses. Floor, who grew up in Paris, was working as a consultant for aid agencies. My job was to set up craft businesses and find ways to grow them, so I was working closely with local artisans, says Edmund. They're highly skilled, energetic entrepreneurs, which is impressive in itself, given the circumstances. But they have very few ways of connecting to market. Ishka is a direct response to that, connecting talented craftsmen with people who have the money to buy their products. There's only one glass workshop left, traditional Afghan glass. Photograph Richard Saker for The Observer in late 2015. As a trial run, Edmund and Floor ordered a batch of cufflinks made by craftsmen in Kabul to sell as Christmas presents. They quickly sold out, so they set about sourcing a wider range for the website and pop-up, which launched earlier this year. When we meet, they are waiting on a shipment of 4,000 more glasses, and crossing their fingers that not too many will have shattered on the arduous journey from Kabul. The glassware is emblematic of what they want to achieve with the brand. Glass has been made like this in Afghanistan for 2,000 years, says Edmund. But the country has been at war for the past 40 years, so there are zero tourists, and no local market because it has been swamped by cheap Chinese glass. There's only one traditional glass workshop left, which is where all our products come from. Part of the problem, he adds, is that for the local market, smooth, regular Chinese are made glass is more fashionable, and cheaper than their traditional styles. As well as supporting the craftsmen directly, a portion of proceeds from some of the lines goes to the Turquoise Mountain Foundation and other charities. They also partner with NGOs on the ground if appropriate. I know certain people might read about this kind of initiative and roll their eyes, adds Edmund, but Ishka is the result of three years' hard experience at the sharp end of development in Afghanistan. The next phase of the business will be to source products from other conflict zones. They already have a small number of items from Syria, but the civil war makes it tricky to know exactly where the money will end up. The current focus is on Mali, where traditional businesses have been hollowed out by the civil war since 2012. These places have incredible traditions of making, but their stories are not heard in the West. The situation there is worse than in Afghanistan, says Floor. Before the crisis, Timbuktu would receive 2,030,000 tourists a year. The craftsmen were relatively well paid, earning between 1,015,000 euros per year. But while they're highly skilled they are not educated, so as soon as that business stopped they were left with nothing. To sustain their families, many turn to militant Islamist groups as smugglers. The situation here is worse than Afghanistan cushions made from Mali and textiles. Photograph Richard Saker for The Observer Another difficulty in Mali is that the supply connections are really poor, so it's hard to get materials, she adds. Textiles are the Malian speciality, but here, too, local demand has dropped off. When we went to see them they were making name bracelets, which we had no interest in, she says. We had to ask them to show us the things they were making before the high-quality embroidery, clothes and fabrics. These places have incredible traditions of making, says Edmund. But their stories are not heard in the West, and people here have no access to them. With Ishkar, he and Floor hope to help change that. Ishkar.com